This object is just awesome. Just where in the sky is it? Welcome to SETI Astro. Now there are plenty of times where I've ran across that I needed a, a blind astrometric solution where you don't know what the inputs are. So in this particular case, um, on my Discord, if you want to join my Discord, we'll, we'll be happy to have you here too. But there's just some, some awesome images that uh, some of the community has been posting. And if you want to you know, explore it more fully in PixInsight with like what's in my image script or anything like that, you, you need an astrometric solution. Now, uh, before, you'd have to go to astrometry.net, upload it in there, wait for that solution. Then once that's in, you can go ahead and type it all manually into Image Solver in order to get the solution in PixInsight. But even uh, that's a little clunky and there's plenty of times where you want that automated to do multiple images or you just stacked it in some different software and or you're exporting a TIFF across from from some other software and you want to manipulate it now in PixInsight, but you just don't have a good way of doing it. So right now, if you go to script, image analysis, image solver, in this particular image, it's a JPEG, right, from, from the community. I have no idea what the pixel size is, what the scale is. I have no idea where in the sky they shot this thing. There's absolutely no way in PixInsight to do a blind astrometric solution. For whatever reason, there's a lot of angst when you ask about it in the forum. Um, t take it what you want, but they are just opposed to trying to provide a blind solving solution within PixInsight. So let me introduce my Blind Solver 2000. Now it has a, a very simple dialogue, right? Because it, we're just wanting it to do one thing. You select your image from the dropdown. You need your API key from astrometry.net. We'll talk about that in a second. And then there's an optional check here. Once it retrieves the calibration data from astrometry.net, it could immediately open Image Solver, export all that data that we just got from astrometry.net into Image Solver. So all you have to do is click OK and let Image Solver then run the full astrometric solution. So let's talk about where you get this uh, API key uh, for the script. When you go to astrometry.net, you need to sign in first, and there's just uh, a whole bunch of different ways you could sign in here. I, I just have a Google account, I, I use my Google. And once you're signed in, under my profile, it's going to be here. It says my API key. That's the thing you need to highlight and copy over to the script. Once you input it into the script, it should save it from session to session. But it may be handy if you just uh, put it in put it in a notepad or something like that too, in case uh, it didn't save it from one session to the other. So it's it's quick access and. You can just copy and paste it in right away. So script, SETI Astro, Blind Solver 2000. Put in your API key there. I'll have the check for perform the full image solver after we've collected the data. And you just click Start Plate Solve. Now off in the console, it's going to show a lot of different things it's running because it has to build various operating system level based scripts in order to run all this right we need to save this image to a temporary image we have to communicate with astrometry.net upload that image to it and then wait for responses from astrometry.net such that we can retrieve that calibrated data so in the script itself it'll tell you what's going on this mission has been successful we're waiting on a solution and then in the console, you could actually see all the guts of what's going on if you're if you're curious. Um, but 
if anybody's used astrometry.net before, you know that it, it, it may take it a minute or two to find an astrometric solution, uh, just depending on, you know, kind of the server load and stuff. We've, we're all familiar with it anyways. So now it does say that the solution has been found and it's really waiting on the calibration data. And uh, in the console, you could see that there is a job calibration, the number, and it found the um, calibrated data. And then it goes ahead and puts everything in there for the right ascension, declination, pixel size, resolution, all that stuff just gets uh, put in there for us. And then all you gotta do is click okay. And it's gonna start running the image solver. And I'm sure everybody's familiar with the image solver as well. It runs through a, a few different iterations until it reaches its solution. And then it's done too. Plate solve completed. You can just close the script at this point. And then we could even do things like we could look in the fits header. And yep, here's our solution data in the fits header. And we can go ahead and run something like now, uh, what's in my image. And and now we can now we can explore this this object, this 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 amazing object. And because we have the solution, right? Now now you can go ahead and put that in your favorite image capture software and and load it up if you want to also image this particular object yourself so it it could lead itself to a lot of different uses um, i know there's some people that have had problems with uh, mosaics right merge mosaic by coordinates you need the coordinates of an image there's just a lot of times where i think a blind solver in Pix Insight is desperately needed, and I don't know why they have such strong opinions, we'll call them strong opinions, on not implementing one. As always, I've updated my website, SetiAstro.com, under Pix Insight Scripts. You can uh, scroll all the way down if you just want the standalone. There's the Blind Solver 2000 there. I will say if you get the standalone, you have to put it in the scripts folder in PixInsight. Uh, but by far the easiest way is to use my repository and just update all my scripts via the repository. I will say this was an extra hard effort. Uh, I needed to actually buy a used little mini Mac, or I actually had to buy a used Mac mini in order to troubleshoot uh, getting it working on, on Macs. So it is, it is working on Windows, it's working on Macs. I have no way of testing Linux. If you have a Linux-based uh, operating system, it should work since it uses uh, the same shell design as on the Macs. But I hope you guys find use for a blind image solver within PixInsight. Please comment, like, and subscribe.